Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adventure Sagas. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, I know the family is growing. So just in case you are new to the channel, please welcome back. You are welcome. Subscribe, uh, like the channel and uh, let's grow the channel together guys. So I'm so privileged today to have visited Nairobi Animal Orphanage and I'm going to bring you uh, all the footages. So welcome uh, everybody, as you can see, this is the main entrance. So uh, today I was privileged to visit the park. As you can see, people are entering, that is safari walk, and we have the other part of uh, Nairobi uh, Animal Orphanage. We also have a uh, game drive. So welcome back guys, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome back. So we are entering and as you can see uh, everybody we have different animals in the orphanage. So among us the animals that are in the orphanage are leopards. You will be able to see the uh, leopards. Uh, another ones are various varieties of monkeys. We have different kinds of monkeys from West Africa from uh, down there in Namibia. And we have monkeys from the upper part of Kenya. So they are also different. Another animals we are able to see is the leopard. We have a leopard and we have a cheetah. So the cheetah uh, always operates on the ground on the fields by chasing and killing the small antelopes. While the leopard is an animal that always uh, stays on top of trees so that they and comes down to hunt for various animals. They also hunt uh, the monkeys and eat them for food. Again, uh, we have uh, hyenas, we have warthogs, we have uh, uh, call what? We have the various we call antelopes. Uh, you will be able to see them. So welcome, guys. Welcome back again. As you can see, the park uh, visitors are taking photos. The trucks and the cars that are on the queue are entering for game drive. So welcome. This is the main part of the zoo. So the first animal we managed to meet was the African crane animal, the crone animals. That is the kind of bird that is living on the highland part of Kenya and almost found in all the uh, highlands on rainy areas. So you can see that's the crane. So we move back a little bit and we saw a warthog there. That's the warthog. So let's get ahead and you can see we enter. As we move to uh, inside, it is so captivating, so impressive. So I was able to view different kinds of animals. So this is the small kind of 
antelope. I don't know whether it's called an antelope or what. They resemble an antelope, but it is uh, a tiny one. So it belongs to that kind of family. So we move to this other side. This is the warthog. I know warthog is known by most people because of its ugly face. So let's get ahead here. Another kind of antelope, a small one. Most of these animals are very camouflaging. So you can, I can be seeing by the eye and when I shoot with the camera, you will not be able to spot it because they are camouflaging. Camouflaging in this animal is the one that matches its environment and you cannot see it properly with your naked eyes. So these ones are the warthogs. They are feeding on the grasses. I don't know why they like to kneel down when they are eating grasses. Maybe it's, it is their own nature. <coughs> So zooming further, as you can see it clearly, <clears throat> they seem very old, but they are feeding very fast. So I don't know what is the wild uh, version of the pig or what. So you can comment and tell me. So moving here, we have the big that's the lion. Everybody knows the lion, the most caring part of the big five. So this is the kind of animal that is really terrorizing the other families of the antelopes, the buffaloes, the other kinds of what we call them. They almost prey on all the carnivorous. So the carnivorous family are being threatened by the lions. You can see the pack is really enclosed so that the animals does not stay and harm the pack uh, visitors. So this is the drinking, the clean water for drinking. They are supplied. So the table there, as you can see, we have the hyena there. I notice hyena is one of the it's big and strong animal. Eh? As you can see, the way it's roaming about, it's very dangerous. I just cannot imagine when you meet such an animal at night, it can really terrorize you. So it's almost uh, feeding time. I can see the park uh, operators are preparing to feed the animals. So this is another species of lion, a small one. I understand it is three years uh, lion. So it is still growing. And uh, as it grows, it will be big and very big. So it's lying time for the animals. They are preparing food for them soon. You will be able to see how they feed animals. This is very interesting and fascinating. As you can see, it's yawning. Just to indicate that the... Uh, it's very uncomfortable. Maybe it's feeding time, they want food. So let's get ahead and see. So the kind of barbed wire they use to enclose the, the area is uh, that one. The, the other one is still running about and scaring the park visitors. You can see, you can see the way it's running around and jumping around. It because it has sensed the food is coming. So most of these animals are being fed on meat from cows. You can see already it has picked the food. Now it's running to go and hide. So it's looking for a perfect place to feed. So this is one of the animals that feeds on all kinds of carcasses and they really love meat. So anytime they sense the smell of the meat, they just jump, jump around, run around until they are being given food. So you can see the park uh, operators, workers with a wheelbarrow full of meat.
or the carcass of a cow. So these ones they are going to feed the lions. So they're carefully selecting. So the place is enclosed and, and uh, the entrance is, is closed with a padlock. So you can see they are opening the place so that they can place the meat on one of the favorite points for the lion. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. Let's support this channel to grow. Let's support the family. Please like it, subscribe it. Always uh, uh, watch the videos from beginning to end or from start to stop so that we can grow together. So there you can see. They are opening the padlock so that they can supply them with the meal for the evening. So it's this time is shortly before five. And uh, I guess uh, this is the last meal of the day. So you can see slowly working there carefully. Placing the meat on the platform there. So within a minute, they are going to open the gate, to slide the gate so that the lion can go for the meal. So right there you can see. Soon the door will be opened, be the slide there. You can see the lion is free now to feed. I think it was not quick to notice uh, where they placed the meat. Soon, yes, they have found it and it's walking away, walking there. There he goes to the platform. So it's time for dinner, I guess. So let's continue supporting one another so that I continue bringing you this content every time. This is raw and uncut content from uh, Kenya, East Africa. Yes. These are the few animals. We also have an enclosed, we have uh, the park. You can drive across the park and see all the animals in their natural habitat. So this is one of the sections. They bring in the injured, the orphans, animals. They groom them, they help them, they treat them until when they are strong enough to be released into the park again. So we are able to catch up on the, and see them while they are being treated and taken care of until when they are strong again to be released into the wilderness. There you can see the hyena is sleeping. Oh, it's feeding on the meat. This is how the place is enclosed. The security enclosed area. So here we have uh, two of the lions. This is the male and the female. Another different enclosed area. As you can see again, it's feeding time for them. They are eating meat. So the lions uh, depend on meat alone as their meal. And here we have a different kind of animal. We have the wild cat. You can see it's looking at us. This is the environment where it is enclosed. So they always walk around, they have sunshine, their food is being provided. We have the guinea falls. So these are the wild species of guinea falls. They are being enclosed here. Another one. 
It's another species of the, this is the mongoose or the leopard again. Eh? So this is one of the most dangerous animals in the jungle, the leopard. So as you can see, they have also sensed that food is around and they seem so angry. They have so anger and they are also feeling uh, yeah, the, the food is being brought to them. You can see them, they are running around, running around. So before the food is be placed into their tables there, they have an enclosed area where they lure the animals with a small piece of food. The small kind of cages there, so as soon as they enter it, they close it, you see, they've opened it, they've let them out, they are rushing, and these are one of the fastest animals on, 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 on earth. They're having the meal of the day. The most dangerous one, they also rely on meat alone. So they graze and eat, they eat, uh, as you can see, it's running to the fence to threaten the park visitors, meaning that they are very, very dangerous and they can always attack any time. You can see, whenever they are feeding, they are very violent and aggressive. So they feel that they can be attacked or they can, some other animals can uh, steal food from them. That's why they are very aggressive and very, very uh, sharp so that they can notice whenever other animals are approaching. You see they are a bit uncomfortable running all around. This is the leopard. Subscribe to the channel Adventure Sagas. Let's grow together. And again, up, up there we have the leopard, another one hiding up in the tree. They are a bit camouflaging and you cannot see them. So always the leopard can climb up the trees and the cheetah operates on the ground by chasing the antelopes and the small animals, sometimes the buffaloes, sometimes the, the, the zebra. So this one is a porcupine. We have one porcupine enclosed here and you can see it's hiding. A bit camouflaging again, you can see its spikes there. The protective way here. You can see the monkey have decided to snatch food from one of the park visitors. So they are very aggressive. When they see you carry food, oranges, they see you carry snacks, they will always snatch it from you and run away. So it is advisable not to carry uh, such kind of food because they will attack you and snatch the food from you. And they are very, very aggressive. They will not relax until they snatch the food from you. As you can see, this one has snatched a piece of chocolate from uh, a mother. So there he goes, feeding on the chocolate slowly and slowly and enjoying the snack. So always when visiting such places, avoid carrying such kind of foods. Avoid carrying all those so that you don't attack you. Sometimes they can bite. As you can see, they also feed on small insects, the grasshoppers. They also feed on some kinds of insects and a bit of grasses. Others would climb up the tree and feed on uh, fruits, feed on leaves. You can see this one going through a litter box to see if someone has thrown the mango peelings so that they can eat it. So this is a small kind of African monkey with a long tail. They are very friendly. They don't attack. So here we have uh, tortoise. We have tortoise. A big one. So this also is in the park. Uh, they feed on grass, eat vegetables, and uh, some kinds of leaves. So they don't attack unless you touch its mouth and provoke it. It can bite, but they don't uh, attack anything. They just feed and graze on grasses. So I don't know whether they eat some insects. So this is how the park looks like. Very well established protected.
here we have the crocodiles so crocodiles you are not able to see them before they camouflage with stones so this is where they stay you can see the walkways are looking good again so here we have the guinea falls again you are able to see them before i was passing here they were sleeping and hiding now we can able to see it another lion there turning back and going it's sleeping so let's continue watching the video from the beginning to the end subscribe to the channel let's support one another every time let's grow this channel so that i continue bringing in more and more uh, episodes so above all uh, subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell uh, so that every time i upload a video you are able to see it this is another species of a uh, monkey it's from the region of namibia lesotho south africa it's a different one it has a, a white spot it less a kind of a, a white spot on the mouth very very aggressive and jumps around so you can see looking every time is not comfortable looking for a way of escaping from uh, this place so i guess it's not comfortable with uh, the place so let's continue supporting one another support this channel this is nairobi orphanage and now i've had fun so i'm checking out so these are the payments the payments for the local and payments for the international visitors are different be sure to carry your id carry your passport for the purposes of identification so this is an area entering the game drive so next time i'm gonna take you to the game drive and we are going to see more and more animals so my friend here i am bonnie together we've been working together he's been supporting me let's continue supporting him subscribe to his channel again he has enjoyed very much so we are closing the day in style so thank you very much let's catch up another day on another episode